Okay, you're still, my name is, um... William, okay. Okay, and now today I want to show you something. But today's video is called, um, Which Under Document is the Biblical Truth? Well, yeah, I do have the map of the United States of America right here. As you can see it, it's big. It's a big one, yeah. So, but I'll keep it. Now, you just say no. Yes, I do live in the United States of America. That's a no. But, you know, I do live in the United States of America. Well, remember the National Geographic? Well, I do have National Geographic books. But look what the National Geographic books had. That I found. But look what I found in the National Geographic books. And and I want to before I can talk about and I'll talk about the rapture soon. But I want to show you something, okay? Well, I found nah. Sorry for you to see this. Yeah, what well, well. Okay with me? No, Mom. You want a lunch? Okay, no lunch for Okay, guys, I'm back. I had to, my mom, I had to eat, I had to, I had to end the video because my mom wanted to eat lunch at Chipotle. I just got, I just ate, I just ate a burrito from Chipotle and I came back. So now I'm, I was going to show you this. Anyway. So it's a map of China. Um, I got this from. Um, I found this from the National from the National Geographic books. Probably that my dad gave me the National Geographic books anyway. Um, yeah, I don't know. So yeah, I got a map. So yeah, I have a map of China. But, well, it's also showing. Um, you can also see. Um, North Korea, South Korea, Taiwan, Philippines, and also Japan. But here's a picture of the, of the Forbidden City in the back of the of the of the map. So, I don't know, I just found this from, a, from, from the National Geographic books, okay? So don't, so yeah, don't get mad at me because about that, anyway. Um, if you want me to talk about China, you can let me know in your comments below, but Right now I'm talking about, right now I want to talk about the rapture. So, that's what I want to show you. Now I want to talk about what the Bible says about. Today I want to talk about which rapture doctrine is the biblical truth. Well, let's go to that right now. 
The problem is the church I go to believes in the pre-trib rapture, which is right here. But I don't. But I found that the pre-trib rapture was wrong. Yeah, I don't know why. Because I believe in the pre. I believe, I believe in the post to pre wrath rapture. But some people believe this is the mid trip. No, mid trip would be would have been right here. Just like mid wrath would be right here, and post wrath rapture would have been right here. But the truth, but the the but guess what? The one that is the truth. One is the it's the post trip pre wrath rapture. That's the one I believe anyway. Yeah, that's doctrine misspelled. I actually put a U on there, but I changed it and I got and I did and I deleted the U. So, okay, this is talk about Daniel's seventieth week. Okay, and I want to show you something right here. So, when does the rapture take place? Well, it will take place right here, after the sixth seal, when the sun and moon got when the sun and moon are darkened, and the stars fall, and the stars in heavens fall. Okay, and stars fall heavens apart, depart. Okay, stars fall and heavens depart. Okay, that's when the rapture happens. Okay, the rapture is the second coming, and the day of Christ, the day of the Lord, and then and then the seventh seal is when, is when God's wrath will begin. Okay. Okay, that's how I know. The rapture is after the tribulation and before God's wrath. Okay, that's what the Bible teaches, okay? And um, I don't know. So the people that believe in the future of rapture and they believe they, believe they want to be gone before the tribulation comes, I believe they will have to die before the tribulation comes. Why? Because they said they want to be gone. Well, if they want to be gone before the Jews come, you probably just die before the tribulation comes. Yeah, look, if you want to be gone before the tribulation, all you have to do is just die. Okay, because there's no, there's no rapture before the tribulation, okay? The rapture comes after the tribulation before God's wrath. You know, that's what I believe anyway. And I'll show you what the Bible does teach. But how do people got the preacher rapture in? Well, I don't know. It could have come from William Miller, but I don't know for sure. Well, it is true that William Miller did believe that Jesus Christ would come. Would it, did believe that Jesus Christ would come back in 1844? But guess what? He didn't come back in 1844 at all. Well, I'm sorry for that, but William Miller was a false prophet anyway, so I don't know. Plus, that's how the Seventh-day Adventist Church got created anyway. I'll talk about the Seventh-day Adventist Church in another video, okay? Just let you know, but well, how do you know? Well, some people believe the preacher. So some people believe the preacher rapture is is in Matthew chapter twenty four. But we're well, they're, well, verse thirty six right here it says, "But that day, the hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only." So. This is talking about, but the problem is, is that you have to go back a few verses. This is the, well, the problem is that because the Bible says we don't know when the rapture is going to happen, that does not mean Jesus Christ doesn't come back any moment, okay? They're taking this verse and they're and they're and they're saying that this first teaching is teaching that Jesus Christ can go back any more, but that but that's not true. Okay, we have to go back a few verses. Um,
Right here, see, it says right here. Then shall be the great, okay, it says right here. For then shall be the great tribulation. It's not since the beginning of time, or whatever it should be. Shall be, okay? And it says, for these things, the days are destroyed, and then the no flesh be saved. For Christ will like those days should be shorter. Okay, if any man shall say to you, Here is Christ, there believe it not. And shall be arise false Christ and false prophets, and issue great signs and wonders so much that it was possible to so deceive the elect. Well, I don't, okay, so I told you before. Wherefore, I say to you, Behold, in the desert, go forth not forth, and the secret members believe it not. Okay, ever is coming on lightning east, and shineth unto the west, and shall come in as some man be. For wherever the carcass is, the angels will gather together. Okay. So, it's right here. It says, immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall the sun and moon, so the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give their light, and the, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Okay. And they shall appear to the, the sign of the men of heaven, and the, the, the shall tribes of earth born, and they shall see the, the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven in power and great glory. And they shall ascend as angels the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together the elect of the four winds from one end of heaven to another. Now I learn a parable of the fig tree, and his branch yet tender, put of forth leaves, yet yeah, know the summer is nigh. So likewise I shall see these things, know that is near, even at the doors. Really, I sing to you. Shall pass, will these fulfill it? Heaven shall pass away, but my war shall not pass away. Okay, so the Bible says, I mean, the other tribulation, no day says, suddenly moody darkened. Okay, and then Jesus Christ will appear from heaven. And then angel, okay. So the Bible is saying that the rapture is coming after the tribulation. Okay, and before God's wrath. Okay, that's in the book of Matthew. Now this also this is now the same thing is in, in is in Mark thirteen. Okay, and here's Mark thirteen, thirty two. They go to this verse, too. This, this says the same thing right here. But the day, the hour, no man, no, not the angels of heaven, be their son but the Father. Well, let's go back a few verses again. Here it says, here, for these days of affliction was not from the beginning of creation, which God in time neither shall be. Except the Lord shorten these days, no no flesh should be saved for the elect's sake. Every chosen has shortened the days. Okay. And any man shall say unto you, Here is Christ, so he is there, believe him not. For false Christ and false prophets shall arise, and shall sign the wonders, if it were possible, even the elect. If it were possible, even the elect. Okay. So it says, now guys, this is if were possible, even on the elect, okay? But let me tell you something. So it says if, but it means it's not possible. Okay? It's, in, it's impossible to deceive the elect. That's what it's just trying to say here. It says, take heed and behold, and foretold unto you all things. And these days after the tribulation, the sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall not give their light. And the started shall fall, and the power of the heaven. Okay? And I shall be shaken, and, the, and, the, and then they shall some man coming in the clouds with power and great glory. Okay, so the Bible is saying that that Jesus Christ will come after the tribulation. And it says right here, and it says, "Seven angels shall gather together, elect the four winds are most of the heart of the earth, the most part of heaven." And it says, "Now learn 
Remember the fig tree of Rinja is tender for the four leaves. You know that summer is near. In the like of the manner shall be say, things of the past, and know that's nigh even at the doors. We are sent to you as a generation that shall not pass till all things are days are done. Heaven shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. So and then it goes to this verse. So um so the Bible is saying that the rapture is coming so the Bible says that, that Jesus Christ is coming after the tribulation before God's wrath. Here it says, Son of Man, that's Jesus. Okay. Now let's go to Second Thessalonians. Okay, Second Thessalonians. I'll go. I'll do Revelation after. It starts with right here. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by the gathering gathered unto him, that ye should be shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit nor by wind, nor by letter is from us, the day of Jesus Christ is at hand. What this is talking about is that they said it's saying that it says nor by letters from us, not the day of Christ is at hand. So it's saying that the day of Christ is not at hand. It says, Then I won't deceive you by any means, for the day shall not come, except for a falling way for except there come a falling way for us, and man, you would feel this under perdition. Okay? The falling away is the tribulation. Okay? The man of sin and the in the son of perdition is the Antichrist. Okay? And here's what and here's what do and here's what the Antichrist will do. Okay, it says who opposes exalt himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, or that he is as God, sitting the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. So he's trying to say so. So the Antichrist is going to be called God. He's going to be he's going to be worshipped. He's going to be in the sitting sitting temple of God. He's going to be he's going to be showing himself that he is God. That's what's going to happen to the Antichrist. Okay. The Bible is teaching that the Antichrist is coming at any moment. Okay, not Jesus. So the Bible is saying that Christians will suffer the tribulation, okay? Now, do I believe the tribulation will come in our lifetime? I don't know, okay? I don't think the tribulation will come in our lifetime at all. I believe the tribulation is going to come, I think, much later. But we need to get ready for it anyway. Where? Now, when I do, if I have to... Do I believe that the tribulation is going to come? I don't know. When the tribulation is going to come, okay, and I don't want to guess. Look, if I have to guess, the tribulation is going to come. Well, I believe the tribulation is going to come probably in the 22nd century, but that is just my guess, okay? Because why? Well, it may come in our, it might come in the 21st century. It may come in our lifetime, but I don't think it will. I think it will come um, later than that. I think it will come in the 22nd century, but I just, just don't know that for sure, okay? I just, just don't know. Okay, this is my guess. I don't think the tribulation will come in our lifetime, but we need to get ready for it just in case. Okay? We should get ready for it, but we should get ready for the tribulation just in case. Okay?
Yeah, I know. I know there are some people that will wish for the preacher for the preacher rapture to be true, but it's not. Okay. It's okay. I brought suffering. I brought, it's okay. I can suffer the tribulation. If the Bible says I have to suffer, I have to suffer the tribulation. If if Christians have to suffer the tribulation. In order to get raptured, that's what the Bible says, okay? And it may or may not happen in our lifetime, we still, but we still need to get ready for it anyway, okay? And you can fight until the very end. You can fight and then, then you, and you can die fighting if the true legion doesn't come in our lifetime, okay? So that's why, okay? I'm not going to try to... I don't want to... Do this, but... Okay, now let's go, let's go to the... Now, when is the rapture taking place? Well, let's go to the Book of Revelation. Okay? Because the future verse wants you to believe that the revelation have the the, the the rapture happens in Revelation four, chapter four, but that they're wrong. Okay, that's talking about Apostle John being um, going to heaven. Okay, being ascended to heaven. Okay, that's not talking about the rapture. It's talking about Apostle John being ascended up to heaven. Okay. Um, Okay, and that's how I know the original in chapter 4, it's not the rapture. Now, the rapture is taking place, well, in two chapters, okay? Revelation chapter 7 and Revelation chapter 14. I'll, do, I'll, I'll show you Revelation chapter 9 first. I'll show you Revelation chapter 7 first. And we're starting with, I think we're starting with first nine. Yeah, here's first nine right here. There's here, after this, behold, a long game all to which no man could number all nations and kindreds and people and, and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Okay, it says a cry with a loud voice, salvation is to our God, which sent up on the throne unto the Lamb. And all the angels stood about the throne, and about the elders of the four beasts, and fell the throne on their faces, and worshipped God. See men, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor, and the power of might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. For this elders answer and send to me what are these arrayed white robes when as came they? And so now and so thou know as he said to me, those are which are which came out of the great tribulation and have washed the robes of me of white and blood of the lamb. Therefore they before the throne of God they served him day and night in this temple and sit on the throne and shall dwell among them. They shall they shall hunger no more. Neither thirst any more, neither shall the sun light on them, nor any heat. Okay, it says, For the Lamb in the midst of the throne shall feed them, and the, and the shall lead them unto the fountain, into the living fountains of waters. Okay, then God shall wipe away their tears 
from their eyes. This is what the Bible says. Now let's go to um, let's go to the now let's go to eleven. Let's go to Ezekiel chapter fourteen. Okay, hold on, and I have to show you what verse, verse twelve. Here it says he it says in the seers patient is saints, for they keep the commandments of God and the, the faith of Jesus. I heard a voice from heaven say unto me, My blessed are the dead of, which die in the Lord, that henceforth and saith the Spirit, and the rest of the laborers and here's uh, and their works do follow him. And I will look behold a white cloud upon the cloud one set on the son of man, having his golden crown and 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 his hand a sharp sickle. Another angel came out of the temple, crying in a loud voice unto him and said on the cloud, Thrust in my sickle and reap, for the time is come to thee to reap, and the harvest of the earth is ripe. And, and and he that sat on the cloud thrust in the sickle on the earth, and the earth shall be re and the earth was reaped. Another angel stayed on the temple which is in heaven. He was having a sharp sickle. And another angel came out of an altar which had power over the fire, and quite out of the loud cried to him, had a sharp sickle, seeing thrust. And thy sharp sickle gathered the clusters of the vine of the earth, and fire for her grapes are fully ripe. And the angel thrust of this sickle into the earth, and gathered the vine of the earth, and, and, and cast it into the vine press of the wrath of God. And the wine press joined without the city, and, came, and the blood came out of the wine press, even unto the horse brutals, by the space of the thousand and six thousand four logs. Okay. So those are the verses, and where the where the rapture. That's the so that's the whole chapter. So, so those are the verses when the rapture takes place. Okay. And this is where. Okay, it takes place. Okay. Is anything wrong with that? Okay, no. Well, so this is the verses where the rapture takes place, okay? The rapture comes after the tribulation and before God's wrath. It's after the sixth seal, and it's before the seventh seal, when God's wrath begins. So it's after the sixth seal. What are the other five seals? Well... Well, the Antichrist has to come first of the covenant, many for one week. So the first five, so the other, so the first five, the other first five seals is the Antichrist goes forth to conquer. Okay, the second says is, is is the world at war. So it's, this is I think this is World War Three. Okay, or or World War Four, World War Five, or World War Six, or Seven, or Eight, something like that. So. So let's talk about the world at war, okay? The third seal is famine and starvation. Okay, so it's talking about people starving to death, maybe. It says death in one quarter of the earth, okay? And it says martyrs appear in heaven, okay? And that's it. And then the sun will be darkened, and the rapture is the second coming of is the second coming of Christ. And then the seventh seal where the wrath begins. Okay. And after the wrath, it's the trumpets. Okay. Let's 
the first trumpet is the hell of fire cuts upon the earth and and then and also and also the first files pour upon the earth which is the grievous of sore of men the second trumpet is mountain cast into the sea and then the second and the second files pour upon the sea sea turn into blood the third trumpet is burning star falls upon the rivers and then pour upon the rivers is rivers turning into blood the fourth trumpet is the sun, moon, and stars smitten. So the fourth upon the sun scorched with heat. I think the fourth file and the fourth trumpet is talking about the sun scorching the earth with burnt heat. Yeah, I believe it's, this is talking about a super solar flare. Why? Because I don't believe the sun will have to get bigger in order to make the earth hotter. Okay? I don't believe that the sun become a red giant star, okay? I believe this is. I believe this is. I believe this is a super solar flare. So I believe, um, so I guess, um, I, so to me, um, the, the, I think this is the sun scorching earth with heat. I believe it's talking about a super solar flare. The sun making the planet hotter with a super solar flare. That's what I believe. Okay. Okay. That's just what I believe. Okay. I don't believe the sun would become a red giant star. Okay, if I'm curious in the future. Okay, what I believe about about the earth getting hotter is and doing God's wrath is is the sun scorching the earth with a, with a super solar flare. Okay, or super flare, whatever you want to call the thing. Okay, that's what I believe. Okay, and this is what I've been doing God's wrath. Okay. And then, and then the fifth trumpet is the smoke and locusts out of the pit. So, just pour upon the sea of beasts of darkness. Okay, the sixth trumpet is four angels, army of amphorites, and pour upon the amphorites dried up. And then the seventh trumpet is, is the thunderings and hail. And it's just pour upon the thunderings and hail. And then, the, and then, the, and then the, the destruction of Babylon in the battle of Armageddon. So, now, what do you mean by the destruction of Babylon? But we don't know what the end times Babylon is yet. Okay? Now, I know that some people do believe it's the USA. You know, the, the United States of America. But we don't know if it's the United States of America yet. Okay? It could be another country that is the end times Babylon. Okay? I don't know if it's the United States of America. I just, just don't know. Okay? Because the, because the name, United States of America, is not found in the Bible. Okay, so we just don't know if it's the United States of America or not yet. It could be the United States of America. I'm not saying, okay, now, the United States of America could be the intense Babylon, but I don't know that for sure. Okay, we don't know. Okay, so I was going to leave it that and say that we don't know that the USA is the intense Babylon or not. Okay. Now, I know the intense Babylon is not Israel, right? Because it's not, it can't be Jerusalem, which where is, where is, right? And it can't be China either, because that's the king of the east. 
So, and that's why we believe it's the USA. But we don't know if it's the USA. We don't know if the entire trouble is the United States of America yet. We don't know that yet. Well, we just say we just don't know until the tribulation comes, okay? When the tribulation comes, we will find out what the end. We will find out what the intense Bible on is, even if we're in heaven or are on earth, okay? Even if we die before the tribulation comes, we can find out, we'll still find out what the intense Bible on is, okay? Even if we're, even we are in heaven, okay? So, so if you want to believe, it, so if you want to believe the intense Bible in the USA, that's fine, but but I'm not gonna believe it until the tribulation comes, okay? Because I just, just we just don't know yet, okay? Don't come in things to believe in things that we just just don't know about the future, okay? Because we just don't know, okay? Okay, I don't know if the intense problem is the USA. We just just don't know, okay? But, well, we don't know until the tribulation comes. I'll go, I'll go ahead and say that, okay? But I do know that the rapture is after the tribulation and, and before God's wrath. Okay, that's because the, that's what the Bible teaches, okay? Okay. So, so I showed you. I showed you where the rapture is in the Bible. Even though before I showed you the map of the United States, and I showed you a map of China. So, I don't know. Well, make sure we do you know when you talk about next video, okay? Because I just don't know. Well. I was talking about what does the Bible say about the past, but instead I was talking about what I was just saying about which talking about the biblical truth, okay? So next video I'll talk about what does the Bible say about the past, okay? Because I was going to make that video, but instead I was talking about, oh, I want to talk about the rapture doctrine first. So next video I'll talk about what does the Bible say about the past, okay? Okay, and that's what we're talking about next video. Okay, okay. Anyway, anyway, go go right now. Thank you for watching this video. Just goodbye. Okay, guys, I'm back. I was going to end this video, but my mom interrupted me, and I have to end up um um doing other things. Um, I was going to end up this video, but my mom kept interrupting me and interrupting me, so I'm sorry about that. I'm very, I'm going to re I have to remake the video now because of that happened. So now I'm remaking the video about this, okay? About about. So what I'm trying to say is that the 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 the, the date uh, that the rapture is the second coming of of Jesus Christ. Well, when was the first coming then? Well, that was that was at Bethlehem when Jesus Christ was born at Bethlehem. That was his first coming, okay? Rapture is second coming. Now I know that some people believe that some people believe that the rapture will be some people believe that the second coming is the millennium though, which is wrong though. No, it's the rapture that's the second coming, okay? The millennium is the third coming. Okay, and how do I know the millennium is the third coming? Well because that's when he comes again anyway, and and you will and you will come to the millennium too with with Jesus Christ. Which is the third coming of Jesus Christ, okay? So yes, there are three comings of Jesus Christ, not two, three. Okay? And the first coming is the Bethlehem, the second coming is the rapture, and the third coming is the millennium. Okay? And, you know... And I hope that, um... That's it, okay, and I hope that I hope you like this video anyway. So I thought our next video is um
which is mostly about the past. Well, I'll get on to that next video. Okay? Yeah, I know. Today's going to cover about the Rapture Doctrine and show you um, pictures of the United States. And I'll show you, and I'll already show you the picture. Oh, no, I, and I showed you the, that I have the United States map. Well, I showed you the, I have the map of the United States. Then I showed you I have a map of China from the National Geographic magazines. So, I don't know what else to say about that anyway. I've been talking a lot about the United States. If you want to talk about other countries, well, you can tell me in the comments below. But, because I just, just don't know if I really want to do it or not anyway. Okay, so that's it, okay? Okay. Okay, well, I'm gonna go right now. So, thank you for watching this video. Okay, so here it is, okay? So, here it is, um, how to get saved, okay? The point you false religion to damn souls to hell, okay? Okay, now you go to heaven and believe all Lord Jesus Christ. Salvation is by faith alone, grace on Jesus Christ alone, and once saved, always saved, by easy believes in the truth, okay, may is it you can't lose the salvation, since they okay, okay. by, by easy believes in that salvation is easy, okay, okay, what you just do is just believe on Jesus Christ for salvation, okay, okay, and until our next video is what this is about the past, okay, okay, anyway, gotta go right now, so, um, so thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoy this. Bye.